Have you ever wanted to show a different featured image than the one you selected as your thumbnail for WordPress? Ever wanted to maybe move that featured image down and put some text right above it? There's an easy way you can do this with the simple bit of CSS code. Hey there, I'm Danielle, web and graphic designer, bringing you tech tips and tutorials to help you stand out from the crowd. So with a bit of easy CSS code, you can hide your featured images from only showing up in the post itself, which gives you some freedom to use a different featured image than the one used for your thumbnails. Or if you want to rearrange things and put some text in a different order, then you have your featured image set. So the first thing we need to do is to get the selector, which tells the CSS code what you're acting on, what it, what element you're, ch you're going to be making changes to. And we need to get the right selector so we hide the right images. So it's preferable if you do this in Chrome, if you have that browser, and I'll explain why shortly. The first thing you'll do is navigate to a blog post on your website. It's entirely okay if it, this is a post that you're still working on. Just make sure that you've at least added the featured image to the post. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mouse and right click on your featured image. You're gonna click inspect. So the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your mouse and you're gonna right click on the featured image, go down to the bottom line that'll say inspect and click on that. Now I recommend Chrome because it shows you the code on the right and it shows you your, your web page on the left. So you can see very easily where things correspond. So right here is the code for my featured image. And I can tell if I go up that this is the section it's in. So this is the container that it's in, this div. The cool part about Chrome is that whatever you you hover over, it will highlight on the left of your web page so you know what portion of the site is in that section of code. So this featured image is wrapped in an image tag. You can see that here by the IMG. And the drop down arrows show you how things are nested. So we know that this section here has the image nested within it along with a couple other things. So we've got our featured image. We're gonna move up to the closest div right above our featured image. So that would be this div here. And it should have a class to help divide things up and make them easier when you're targeting things for CSS and for design, trying to categorize things. Now, if you do get this wrong, it's okay. Just go ahead and take the code out and you can try again. Sometimes this can take a little bit of trial and error, but you're only gonna be adding this one bit of code. This class here is part of the code that you're gonna be using to hide your featured image. So make sure to write it down. And if there's underscores, hyphens, capital letters, make sure you've got those exact. Because if it's not exact, it's not gonna work. Now, where do you put this? Your particular theme may have a spot for you to put CSS code. And if it does, you can add it there. Divi has this option in the theme options section. You scroll down and you can add custom CSS code. If your theme doesn't, you can hover over appearance and click on edit CSS. And this will take you to the home page of your site. On the left, you're going to click on additional CSS. And what this is, is just another place to put CSS code. And the cool part about doing it this way is that you will know instantly if it's working. So what we're gonna do to know is we're gonna navigate to a blog post on your site. If you're new to CSS and you're wanting to learn a few more of the basic skills, I'll leave a link in the description to my post all about CSS for beginners. Now at the bottom of the section here, we're gonna add a CSS comment, which basically is a simple way of letting yourself or anybody else who comes in to do work on your site know what this bit of code does. And what this looks like is a slash followed by two asterisks. You'll type in your comment and then you'll end it with two asterisks and another slash. Right in between those asterisks is where you're gonna put your comment, you know, hide featured image on blog posts. 
for example. Just a simple little basic what it does. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the class name and you're going to enter in, you're going to add it to the following code. Now, a little note, make sure that before your class name is listed that you've got a period there because that tells the CSS code that you're using a class. So you've got your curly brackets. You enter display colon space none semicolon. Now that should hide your featured image. If it's correct, go ahead and hit publish and you're good. If it didn't work, it's okay. Go ahead and go back to that inspect view on your image and try again. Now you can add your featured image in anywhere you'd like in the post or change out to a new one if you want something different to show up than your thumbnail. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Thursday at 9 a.m. Central. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.